Take you live now to the Western Cape. Eight-year-old Regan Gertze will be buried later today. He was raped and murdered by a parolee and family member last week. Gertze's death leading to the Justice Minister, Ronald Lamola, announcing sweeping changes to the parole system. 53-year-old Jacobus Petrus was arrested for the crime. He has already appeared in court. Let's take you to Tulbach in the Western Cape. Reporter Nadine Tron is standing by. Nadine, good morning to you. And whichever way you look at it, this is going to be a difficult and harrowing day for all concerned. Yes, indeed. Um, hundreds of community members are here at the funeral service, which is currently being held at the church behind me. Um, the service is being held in English with the translator in Isitroza. And the, service, the church is so full that chairs have been packed outside and hundreds of people are sitting outside just to try and hear um, what is being said inside in support of the family. A crime such as Regan's murder and rape has never happened before in this small town town of Tilbach, so the entire community is shaken and they're outraged that they didn't know that the parolee who was previously convicted of a child murder was living amongst them and none of their children had actually been safe um, until this man was arrested on Sunday. And as I mentioned a little earlier, Nadine, this has also led the Justice Minister, Ronald Lamola, to uh, question, to call in the efficacy of the parole board in the province. Yes, because Regan Gertz's death was not an isolated incident, his murder. Before that, we had Tasne van Wijk, who was also raped and murdered by a parolee. And in January, Michaela Williams was also raped and murdered by a parolee. So Regan is effectively the third child to have been raped and murdered by a parolee who was previously convicted of similar crimes against children this year alone. Um, I think communities were outraged all across the West. In Cape. We saw in Tasne's case um, community members of Elsie's River burned down houses in Paro um, because they were so upset. And the community here were also very outraged when this man appeared in court on Tuesday. They also took to the streets, they attacked a police van with bricks to try and kill the man themselves because they feel that the parole system failed them. And that's why Minister Ronald Lamola stepped in on Wednesday and and made immediate changes to the parole system in the Western Cape. I'm just wondering, apart from a very angry community that is turning out for this uh, funeral today, um, is there government representation? No, there is none government representation. Excuse me, there's no government representation here. And that is something that the community has also been pointing out the whole week. That in cases of children on the Cape Flats, like Tasne, Van Wijk, or Courtney Peters before, government officials and ministers and even presidents would visit the families. Whereas in Regan's case, no one has come to assist them yet. In fact, community activist Billy Clarson says he had to contact government. With workers himself on Sunday to try just to get social workers to assist the family. So there's been no um, response from government to this small community and the community really feels that they are being ignored because they're not in the city. They feel like they are being treated as less than the families of children in the Cape Flats. All right, uh, for the moment, uh, Nadine Tron in Tulbach, uh, we will leave it there. We'll check in with you in the next hour of the program. So just to recap again, Police arresting a 58-year-old man identified as a Jakobus Petrus shortly after Hertz's body was found uh, Sunday uh, last week. He is due back in court in the dock on the 2nd of June.